Hey, what's up, y'all? This is Christopher Harold, and uh, I'm gonna do this video for you guys real quick, and I really want you to pay close attention to th to this. Um, <clears throat> I'm gonna talk to you about the number one killer of success, and guys, all my videos—not all, but most of my videos that I do—are based off of true stories, are based off of inspiration either from my life or from others who I'm encountering on a daily basis and it's just <laughs> it's just amazing that every day I can come up with a new video after having an encounter with someone and today is no exception I just talking to a guy today he lives in Italy he might be watching this video here and uh he wants to come involved with Empower Network, but it's something that's keeping him from doing so. He's seen all the videos at my youtube.com forward slash get cash money from home page. He's read the emails. He's seen the testimonies from people. He's seen a testimony from myself of Empower Network. He's seen the product and service that is second to none that is real. He's seen the, the community of entrepreneurs that we have here. But it's something that's keeping him from going forward. And I told him that today. And I and, and after I told him that, I said, you know what, let, let me make a video. Because if you're watching this video here, then chances are you still suffer from the same thing. And you know what? I suffered from this. And I still suffer from this in other areas of my life. I have made many, I don't want to call them mistakes, but I have put myself in positions where I have suffered from this number one killer of success throughout my life. And I'm going to share a story, story with you, <laughs> which I can share many later. But what is this number one killer of success that I know you watching this, re re watching this video of struggling with it too and the reason why I know is because you have not unsubscribed from receiving my emails and you're watching this video that tells me that you are suffering with this as well and we all suffer from this for many many reasons and I hope that what I discuss with you right now will shed some light on this you could actually look in the mirror and see yourself and and see that Wow, I never really took a close look at myself. I thought I was perfect. I thought everything was fine with me. I thought it was something else. And I'm going to show you why you struggle with this number one killer of success. And I hope that you'd apply this to your life, to your personal life, to your business life or whatever. I hope you can apply this, guys. And the number one killer of success that we all struggle with, some more than others, but we all struggle with it is procrastination we all struggle with procrastination let me make this a little bigger procrastination guys procrastination 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 we all struggle with it and it is the number one killer of success and I'm gonna break down some things for you right now guys and I got my notes here too first let's get a working definition for what it is so we can try to examine this to see what areas of this life because some of us might be in denial right now you may feel well no I'm not a procrastinator well, I'm gonna show you because if you're watching this video that means that you're on my list from Empower Network and I'm gonna show you while you allowing this number one killer of success to rob you from what you truly want in life you allow it to rob you from what you truly want in life what is procrastination well working definition says it is putting oops off put this here sorry about that guys it is okay It is putting off 
or delaying something requiring oops immediate attention we can procrastinate until an opportunity oops is lost think about it we all have known people who have put off going to school people that have put off having kids people that have put off getting married I can think of many 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 options myself uh, for many 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 reasons I know some things I struggle with when it comes to procrastination is unpaid tickets unpaid fines uh, registering for school or for classes or seminars for buying tickets you know at the last minute for 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 myself not investing in the stock market in the late 90s for myself not and getting involved in real estate investing seven to eight years ago And, and 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 what happens when you procrastinate in these nine times out of ten or ninety nine percent of the time when you procrastinate over what I just discussed or anything else you can think of, you always seem to pay more in the end. You always seem to pay more in the end. When you put off a traffic ticket and you don't care to take care of that traffic ticket by the deadline date, what's gonna happen? You're gonna pay more now. That happened to me when I we had an alarm at our house. We got an alarm at our house and I didn't renew the alarm permit. I put it off. And what happened? By golly, we had a false alarm. And the police showed up. Nothing happened. I got a letter in the mail from the city with a $177 fine. And plus I had to pay another $50 to get a permit. If I would have got that permit, I would have saved myself 177 And what's so crazy about this, I've allowed that to happen three or four times before I finally went and got a permit. So I cost, we cost, I say I, me and my wife, but I cost me and my family close to $800 in unnecessary fines because I, I procrastinated in taking care of business. I delayed in putting something off that required an immediate action. I can remember I can remember when I was in the music industry say I was active in the music industry still am a certain kind of way but when I was active in the early 2000s and there was a, a big conference going on and I knew I should have been there all the, all the top execs were going to be there I knew I had an opportunity to get a uh, at that time a big record deal but I didn't go I made excuses I put it off and I didn't go then when the event came closer and closer and closer I knew about this event nine months in advance when it came closer and closer and closer what happens at every event the prices of the event go up the cost to buy an airline ticket goes up and, and when I finally made my mind I'm gonna go because I found out at the last minute that such, such and such was going to be there and they're looking for something that I have and I knew that if I got my if I got in front of this person my life would be different by the time I looked at the cost it was gonna cost two or three grand to go when initially it was only gonna cost me about what four five hundred bucks to go and I didn't go and that haunted me for years that hurt me for years and I was mad at myself for putting it off. And, and now I'm not a, psych a psychologist, but I did some study on this, guys. And, and, and when I did this study, I saw myself, I saw myself, I saw myself. And now I understand. And I guarantee you guys, you who are watching this video right now, there is a reason why you are still putting off and joining the Empower Network. And I guarantee you, what I'm about to show you, you're going to see yourself and it's going to show you it's going to put a mirror right in front of you it's going to point the finger right at you why because it pointed the finger right at me I 
have always been sick and tired of always getting in, getting in on things at the last minute. When it costs me the most. Or when opportunity is gone. Or when it's lost. I've done it so many times that I always ask myself, what is wrong with you, Chris? Why you keep putting off these things that you know you want to do? That you know is going to benefit not only you, but it's going to help other people. And I put it off. I put it off and I put it off. And what happens? Nothing changes. Nothing changes. And it pisses me off. No preacher shouldn't be saying that word, but I'm I'm keeping it real. It pisses me off, and I can't be no I can't be mad at nobody but who, the person I look into, the person I see in the mirror every day, me. Why? I'm going to give you a quick quiz, guys, and I'm sharing this with you guys because I get frustrated. I get, and and I shouldn't I shouldn't allow myself to get frustrated. But if you see some of the videos I, I I've created lately, that's they're, they're because of responses I get from people. And, and I have to understand that where I am right now mentally, I have an advantage over many people. Many people, when they see Empower Never for the first time, come for, come for two different type of backgrounds. Either you're coming from a background of someone who's been involved in business before, you already uh, have, have delved into entrepreneurship before, you already have de delved into an offline business or an online business or a home-based business or a network marketing business or a multi-level marketing business or maybe a commission only. You're coming from a background where you, you have a business type of understanding. And where you see things are totally different than someone else who might be brand new who've never ever in their life been involved in any type of business venture online or offline who had never touched anything for us network marketing or direct sales or multi-level marketing or brick and mortar business or entrepreneurship never had done anything before and I realized most of the times that the people that that uh, say stuff you know are, are from people who are coming from mainly from that background who've not understanding anything who've never experienced business for themselves before who've always had a job who've always been an employee of someone and I'll talk about that in another video that you need to go watch it talks about the employee mindset versus the entrepreneur mindset go watch that video at my channel as well so it allows me to understand now because guys I'm passionate about helping people I know Empower Network is real I know it's not a scam I know why because I made money in it. I know because why other people I work with has made money in it. So I know it's real for me. It's the same as that when I share the gospel of Jesus Christ with people. People are like, well, I can't see Jesus or, you know, I can't see God. You know, that was 2,000 years ago and all this kind of stuff. But when you know for you, when you've experienced it for yourself, that when someone else would say Jesus is not God I know that person doesn't know I know that person is a liar because they don't know you understand what I'm saying I know because I experienced it for myself and I've seen what Jesus has done to the lives of other people of course history tells us too but I've, I've experienced it I've seen it and I've, you know, I've seen the facts and I've seen the facts of what happened with people who get involved with our team here and Empower Network but it's the reason why many of you who are watching this video has decided not to take action yet. Now, some of you still could be in your network marketing business or another kind of business, and you see this as a conflict. I talk about that in another video where it's not a conflict. But many of you are allowing these things I'm about to share with you prevent you from having the success that you truly want. And the reason why you want it is because why? You came to my website. You voluntarily put in your email address on, on my website to get more information about how we can fix the problem that, that you have. You have a problem that needs to be fixed, whether it's financially, whether it's growing your business, whether it's getting more leads, whether whatever it might be. You have an issue. That's why you came here. And I'm trying to help you solve that issue, but I can't make you do anything. I can only show you what it's done for me. I can show you what it's done for others. I can show you what it can do for you. But you got to make that decision to take action. You got to make that decision to take action. And I'm, 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 I'm going to show. I'm going to give you a quiz here, and I want you to answer these questions to yourself. 
and I'm going to tell you exactly where you are and why you're struggling. All right, let's go. Okay, here we go. First question here says, when you're faced with a task or, say, a decision, do you think of all the ways it could go wrong? Put this down because I want to elaborate on that. Do you think all the ways it can go wrong? Most of us, okay, you know what, I'm going to the next question, and I'm going to elaborate in a second. All right, let me do that. Okay, second question. Do you picture how important people, do you picture how important people in your life might react to you if you failed? I mean, you know, do you, do you envision these things? And third question, do you believe it's better to not to try at all than to try your best and fail? Do you believe that? When you're faced with a decision, guys, do you think of all the ways it could go wrong? Do you think of all the negative from your past experiences? Maybe you've tried some in the past. Maybe you, maybe you, maybe you come from a perspective where you tried other things in the past. You tried to go out and venture on, on your business. You tried other online ventures before, and they didn't work for you. Maybe you tried something in the past, other investments, stock market or real estate investing, or, or maybe you tried other things that that didn't work for you. And, and now, naturally, your mind becomes pessimistic. You become a skeptic. You can see an email. Someone can, I can send you a check where I say, I made $100,000 here, and you still wouldn't believe it. I can send you email after email, testimony after testimony, about people that have been successful, how lives have been changed, how people have been blessed, but you still wouldn't believe it because of your past experience. Or do you got, is it people in your life, family around you? I, the guy I talked to today in Italy, someone told him straight up and down that, you don't need to do Empower Network because you're not going to make any money. And I'm like, really? I said, the people who told you this, are they in Empower Network? He said, no. I said, so let me ask you this. How would they know? How would they know? Guys, do you got people around you who, 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 you, who, who you would feel ashamed of if you, if you were to j jump out and do something different than what they're not willing to do and you fail? Do you have people around you like that? And, and 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 have you made yourself think that it's better for me not to do this so I don't be known as a failure than to me to go out and do something? You know, do you think it, do you think it's better for your pride for you not to do something? Are you familiar with Thomas Edison and what he did with creating a light bulb? Read read the story, but then he failed what upwards of five thousand, six thousand, almost ten thousand times and not getting the light bulb done, then he finally got it done. Guys, if you're in one through three, if you find yourself answering yes to one, two, three, you struggle with a fear of failure. You have a, f if you answered yes to any of these, you have a fear fear of failure dominating your life it is dominating your mind right now you got a fear of failure you worried about what others might think you worried about if you were to fail and you worried about what others might say and, and you, you made yourself believe that even though this might work for me even though it's the, uh, Christopher Harrell seems like a real guy uh, you know, I, I know a lot of things about him. He got a lot of videos and he shares himself and he's kind of open. And even though I, I see that it, this could be something that could be good for me and my family. No, nah, I, I don't want to do this because it's out of my comfort zone. I'm more comfortable going to work every day. I'm more comfortable in my job that I'm in every day. A job that I hate or a job that I, that I wish I wasn't doing anymore. You got a fear of failure. And the fear of failure is, is going to handicap you for the rest of your life it has a grip on you it's like a chokehold it's choking the life out of you and you feel it choking the life out of you but you won't do but you, but it has more power than you and you can't overcome it you have a fear of failure let's go to the next one all right four through six are you overwhelmed by the possibility of new responsibilities if you are successful? 
do you subscribe to this idea of thought that hey if I do well in this then other people might expect a whole lot more of me you know other people might be coming to me but do you feel that your success will lead other people finding out the real you if you answered yes to any of these you have a fear of success I know that sounds crazy guys because you can understand the fear of failure why because hey quite naturally in our human instincts nobody wants to fail you, you, you don't you don't go out on a venture and plan to fail right but don't, do you know more people struggle with fear of success than fear of failure your mindset has, has gripped you where that your limits have been capped off for you. And my, a lot of times that happens because we've been conditioned to think some way. If you've been in a job environment your whole life, you've been conditioned to think I'm only worth $10 an hour. I'm only worth $15 an hour. I'm only worth $20 an hour. You've been told that your whole life for how much you're worth on an on, on hourly scale. You've been told that. For, do, for you for you who've been working since you're 16 you've been told how much you're worth by somebody else and you know what you you begin to accept that it's like a slave mentality you begin to accept that and it becomes norm and then when something like this is presented to you it's abnormal something is wrong with it it throws up red flags with the big why because it's contrary to where you've been taught your whole life when someone tells you that <laughs> that uh you 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 could make five grand a month, ten grand a month, fifteen grand a month, fifty grand a month. It sounds to you like it's a scam, it's a hoax. But that's what's happening in Empower Network. People are making those kind of amounts, that that kind of amount of money. So sometimes we don't want success. Why? Because we don't we don't want new responsibilities. The Bible says that much is given, much is required. So if you're blessed with success, then you got to do something with that success. You know, I don't get into any type of business venture or anything I do investing-wise or whatever I try to do to better myself and better my family. I don't get into it for selfish purposes only, that, that I just want to make money. Yes, you want to make money, but, you, but, but, but it's what money gives you. And I want to make money, why? Because I can bless others. I can further the kingdom of God. I can uh, bless my wife with a brand new car, cash money. Uh, I, I can do other things, you know, what money gives you. That's why I work so hard. That's why I do whatever I got to do to be successful. If I got to look at my other, video, other video, if I got to take on odd jobs for, for the short term, because my mind is thinking long term. I pushed my pride out the way a long time ago. I struggle with pride because you know what I know I'm better I know I got a millionaire mindset but sometimes a millionaire mindset it, it, you might have a millionaire bank account at the same time that takes time that's why this is not a get rich quick scheme I know we live in a world of instant gratification but this isn't it and anything that's true and lasting is not going to be a get rich quick scheme that's why people that win the lottery are broke a year or two later most of them are they couldn't deal with the success so some people fear that. Some people fear making ten grand a month. Some people fear making twenty grand a month. Some people fear making that kind of money, fifty grand a month, because you don't know what to do with it. You don't have a plan what to do with it. You, if that amount of money would have come to you on a daily basis for the next six months at twenty grand a month, twenty-five grand a month, what would you do with it? You have no clue. And so you would rather put yourself not in that position to to attain it and stick to your fifteen dollars an hour. Because why? That's your comfort zone. So yes, you struggle with the fear of success. And that, now what is fear? Before I go to the next one, guys. What is fear? I learned this acronym a few years back. I've used it in some of my sermons and teachings. And I think I learned it. I don't know if I learned it from a business seminar or what, or ministry. But, but what is fear? Fear is nothing more than false evidence appearing real 
F E A R. When you break down fear, fear is lack of faith, fear is lack of trust, fear is believing in something that isn't there for the most part. The Bible said for Christians, God, God has not given us a spirit of fear or a power and a sound mind. Fear is not of God. God said perfect love casts cast out fear. So a lot of people fear relationships. A lot of people fear getting into a new relationship. Why? Because they have broken hearts. How many people you know have procrastinated on getting into a new relationship? They want to have kids. They want to have a family because they were hurt in the past. Someone broke their heart. Someone, you know, scoring them. I understand that. We've all been there. But, now, but you were rather rob the blessings of having a child because of what happened in the past? Why are you let why are you allowing what happened in the past to dictate your future? Because of fear. Fear of it happening again. I've always heard and understood I would rather have loved once than I never never loved at all. I would rather try something once, twice, two or three times and never try it at all. What you gonna see a lot of my emails, what you've been seeing a lot of my emails, what I learned when I got in real estate investing a couple years ago from my, one of my mentors and he said live life with no regrets and that's my catchphrase I want to share live life with no regrets why because you don't want to be that person if you are blessed to live to an old age by the will of God and you're on your deathbed and you say I regret not doing this I regret I didn't jump out and, and start this business I regret I didn't go see this place in the world. I regret I didn't buy this car. I, I regret I didn't give more to the kingdom of kingdom of God. I regret I didn't make this relationship right. Because you know a lot of people die with broken relationships. They procrastinated on getting right with someone who they hurt, someone who they fell out with. And the other person dies. And that's the worst pain you can live with. I've heard many stories of people getting in tune with a loved one. And the loved one dies. And they never made it right. And they never ever, ever speak to that person again. And they're haunted for the rest of their life. Why? Because they procrastinated. They put stuff off that they knew they needed to take care of. Why? For different reasons. For fear. For pride. Didn't want to admit they want. Didn't want to admit they missed that person. Didn't want to admit that because they let something stupid stand in the way. Now that person is dead and gone. And they're never going to ever talk to that person again. Procrastination, the number one killer of success. The number one killer of, of, of reconciliation. If you got somebody in your life you need to get right with right now, guys, go get right with them. Tomorrow's not promised to anybody. You think tomorrow's promised to the to the to the to the young lady who just got killed by the guy, guy who played for the Kansas City Chiefs, the football player, his girlfriend? You think she woke up that day knowing he was gonna die? You think that guy woke woke up that day thinking he was gonna commit suicide? Let's go to the next one. Number seven. Do you believe if you're going to do something, you should try to do it perfectly? Do you find it difficult to persist when things aren't going just right? And would you rather avoid doing something than do it imperfectly? I had the same mindset. When I first got started Empower Network, when it came to this blog, I wanted to have this blog down to a T. I wanted to understand it to a T. You know, I know what my coach told me. She told me, Chris, you, you're stressing on something that you don't, need, you don't need to be stressing on. You're putting too much energy in something that's not that serious. She said, there are too many people out there who need what we have to offer at Empower Network. And you need to be focused on helping these people. Instead of tripping on how many keywords you got in your blog or if my blog didn't show up in the first position it showed up in the fourth position on Google I mean stuff like that and the stressing out of it going crazy over it it's not that serious it's not that serious my guy today in Italy ask, he was asking me tons and tons and tons of questions right I said look it's not that serious I know I understand this seems important to you but trust me I've been in your shoes it's not that serious I said, look, just get involved. The system here is set up to make your life much more simpler. 
not more difficult. I said, and say, I said, and right now you're making it more difficult than what it has to be. I said, you have to learn how to trust. Trust that I'm going to give you the blueprint to be successful here. Trust that the purpose of this system is for you to create a business but have a life at the same time. It's not designed for you to be doing this 18 hours a day. That defeats the whole purpose. And if, if you find yourself answering yes to any one of these questions, which I know I have <laughs> with many things in my life, then you are a perfectionist and I know I got it somewhere down there it is yeah and perfection may underlie your avoidance perfectionism perfectionism is causing you to avoid getting started your avoidance is here you won't get started because why you gotta know every single and I know we got all different personality types I get that but if you gotta know everything from A to Z to get started, I can 99.9% .9 say you're not going to ever do anything. Because who knows everything before they start everything? You know what I'm saying? If, if and number eight here, if you can't persist when things are going rough, what's going to happen? You're going to quit. Because why? I know myself. If everything isn't perfectly laid out, excuse me, the way I think it should be, in the past I would have shut down. I would have shut down. And who did it hurt? That hurt no one but me and my family and the people I'm trying to help if I would just shut down. So guys, whenever you're starting a business, everything is not going to be perfect. The way think about it you could write down a list of things to do I, could, I, I got a to-do list that I do every single day I got a to-do list and sometimes life gets in the way and you know what in the past I used to go crazy my wife could attest to that I didn't want no one to bother me I didn't want no phone calls coming in they shouldn't be coming in I didn't want life to happen sometimes life happens deal with it don't avoid it Avoiding it doesn't make it go away. Deal with it. Walk through it. Adjust and keep moving. Guys, procrastination has never won a race. It's never received a promotion. And never changed the outcome of any given situation. There are procrastination often leads to hurtful consequences I can't think of any occasion when I procrastinated on something and it turned out great for me some things you procrastinate in have eternal significance some things have temporal on this side eternal would be not accepting Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior and you go out and die tomorrow by putting it off or not not making bro broken relationships right. Not not you no know, not dealing with certain things you need to deal with anger or paying tickets stuff I mentioned before. But guys, tell me the benefit of you continue to procrastinate to get installed with Empower Network. Email me, reply back. What's the benefit? Make a comment. What's the benefit? How are you benefiting? How is that changing your financial situation in your life? I'll, give me one great reason why for you continue to procrastinate here it's benefiting you tell me a reason I, I'd like to know give me a reason why it's benefiting you I will bet you and I, I'm not a gambling man I will bet you you couldn't tell me one legitimate reason why because it's all going to come down to these three either you got a fear of failure or you got a fear of success or you're perfectionist and that's why you're avoiding taking going forward and you know what nothing will ever change in your life nothing will ever change in your life until you decide to take action and change 
you decide to say, you know what, failure, I'm going to go knock you right in your mouth. You know what, success, I'm going to come knock you right in your mouth. You know what, I'm not going to be a perfectionist anymore. I'm going to take action. I don't need to know every single thing right now. I'm just going to take action. Why? Because I see it happening for other people. And if it, can happen to, if, if it can happen to someone like Chris, if it can happen to someone else, average people today, it can happen to me too. That's my attitude with everything I do. I'm sorry, guys. I got to cut this video off now. But hey, I'm not afraid of trying to change my situation. That's my beeper to tell me I need to go pick up my daughter from school. So I got to cut this video off now. But guys, what's the point of you not coming on? If you haven't unsubscribed from my emails, then you then you know you need to change something in your life. Either you're already successful, either you already got another business and you need help with your business to grow your business, to get more traffic, to get more leads, to make more money, to do other things, or you're a brand new person and you want to make money, you want to supplement your income at your job. Would a thousand bucks a month help you out? Would two thousand dollars a month help you out? For those who want to do real big things, would five thousand dollars a month, would ten thousand dollars a month really change some things in your life? If you answer yes to either one of those, guys, it can happen for you right here at Empower on our team, our AIG DT team. It can happen for you. But it's not going to happen if you don't click the darn button that says join, if you don't pull out your credit card, if you don't pay the 25 bucks to get involved. And when you get involved, if you don't follow the blueprint I'm going to give you, if you don't follow the eight core steps that we're going to give you, if you, if, if you don't do the daily tasks that you need to do, if you don't get involved with the, the community of entrepreneurs that we have on our team, if you don't get involved with the Facebook groups that we have available to you, if you don't get involved in any of the trainings that we're going to have you on on our team, if you don't invest in yourself financially, if you don't invest in yourself time-wise, if you don't invest in yourself with your energy, then you might as well just unsubscribe from the video right now and continue to live the life you're living. But if you're tired of it, if you know you need to change something, if you're tired of the pain that you're going through, if you know you, know you need more money, you know you want to change. You know you want to create wealth for yourself through the leverage system that's set up here. Through the system that's set up here that I already pay you up front big money, but we set up residual income from you. <sighs> you know what you need to do. Click the link below this video. Decide you're going to take action today and get started now.